Hey, it's Sam from SRA, and today I'd like to show you how to set up the 9378 Pro soldering station from AU. Together we'll go through each menu setting one by one to help you get the most out of your unit. One of the coolest features about the 9378 Pro is that it can run several different soldering tools using the same port on the front. This includes a variety of soldering iron types and hot tweezers that are automatically recognized by the system. It's important to note though that the power and temperature range can vary depending on the tool being used. We'll talk more about this later. On the front panel, you'll see a simple three button layout. The leftmost button increases the temperature, while the rightmost button decreases temperature. In the middle, we have a set button, which is used for changing menu settings. To change any setting, simply press and hold the set button to enter system configuration mode. The display will change to a number in brackets, indicating the current tool connected. It looks like C's on either side, but these are actually brackets. If you don't have any tool connected, the display will read error 1 and you will not be able to make any changes. This is actually the first item in the menu structure. There aren't any settings to change here, but it does automatically adjust internal settings for the specific tool connected. You can see here the display reads 01, meaning the current tool is number 1. Here is a chart showing the corresponding numbers for each compatible tool. Whenever changing tools, please allow time for them to cool down and be sure to turn the unit off before switching or you may cause damage to your unit. To advance to the next menu item, simply press the set button again. This second screen is the digital offset represented on the display as A000. This is the default value of no adjustment, but it can be set anywhere between plus or minus 70 degrees Celsius to fine tune the tip temperature. To use this feature, you will need an accurate temperature probe to know exactly how hot the tip is getting and adjust the offset accordingly. The adjustment moves in increments of 2 degrees Celsius from A negative 70 to A positive 70, or the equivalent in Fahrenheit from negative 126 to A126. Please note that any settings you make are not saved until you confirm them with the save menu function. The next two menu items on the 9378 Pro allow you to configure two favorite temperature settings for quick recall. A common use case would be setting a low temperature for PCB work and a higher temperature for larger components. The first favorite setting is represented by the letter B and the second by the letter C. Simply adjust the temperature up and down to the desired points. To recall favorite setting B, press the increase and set buttons simultaneously. To recall favorite setting C, press the decrease and set buttons simultaneously. Please note the macro and micro tweezers max out at 400 degrees Celsius or 752 degrees Fahrenheit. The fifth menu item lets you set a countdown sleep timer between 0 and 60 minutes. For example, a 60 minute sleep timer would be represented on the screen as T60. The timer is adjusted using the temperature increase and decrease buttons, and it also advances in increments of two. Each soldering tool from the 9378 Pro is equipped with a vibration sensor in the handle. If the iron is left unmoved for a set period of time, the system will enter auto sleep mode. You'll notice the suffix will change to a small letter D to indicate the countdown to sleep mode has begun. Once it finishes, the display will show four dashes across the screen to indicate it has entered sleep mode. To wake it up, move the iron or press any control button and the temperature will return. This next item is a safety feature that allows you to lock the entire control panel to prevent any further changes from being made. For example, if the unit is set up and calibrated for specific functions, this can help stop those settings from being adjusted by any other users. It is represented on the screen as L off, but can be set to on by pressing the decrease temperature button. After saving the setting, the display will show the word safe to indicate it is enabled. To deactivate the system lock, make sure the unit is switched on, then press and hold all three buttons on the front panel for more than 15 seconds. The display should change from safe to start reading the set temperature. 
Depending on your preference, you'll want to set up your 9378 Pro to display either centigrade or Fahrenheit. This menu setting allows you to switch between both temperature scales very easily. By default, the unit is set to Celsius, but to change it to Fahrenheit, simply press the decrease temperature button. Again, the increase temp button will turn it back to Celsius. When you're adjusting the temperature on the 9378 Pro, it will show either a lowercase c or upside down f to indicate the set temperature. This will then change to a capital C or f when showing actual temperature on screen. And remember, the lowercase d appears only when the sleep mode is active, indicating the unit has not detected any user activity and will begin the countdown timer. This last setting is for controlling the LED lights on the optional B033 soldering iron. By default, this is set to P off for power off. But to turn on the LED function, press the decrease temp button once and it will show power on. To turn them back off, press the increase temp button. Now that we've gone through all of the menu settings and made all of our changes, we need to use the save function for them to take effect. To do so, press the set button until the display reads save, and then press the decrease temperature button to save and exit. If you pass this menu item accidentally, just keep pressing the set button repeatedly until you loop back around. You cannot go backwards through the menu settings. Finally, if you think you've messed something up or you don't want to save any of the setting changes, you can press the set button until the screen reads cancel and press the decrease temperature button to exit without saving changes. The temperature up button on both the cancel and save functions will have no effect. Well that's it, we've covered all of the available menu settings in the 9378 Pro from digital offset to changing the temperature scale. I hope you found this video helpful and you can let us know by hitting the like button and subscribing for more content like this. Also, if you've got any further questions, please leave them below for us and we'll get back to them as quickly as possible. Until next time.